Hey everyone, it's Jake Campbell with IPEX North America. Today we're going to be giving the technical introduction video on the Spartacus flame spray system. This flame spray system does run off compressed air. Depending on which gun you're using with the machine, that'll kind of determine the CFM requirement. We do have interchangeable guns for this unit, about three of them, starting with the small detail gun, which will require around 30 CFM, the standard large high flow gun, which will require around 36 CFM, and then the Centurion cooling gun, that will require around 46 CFM. When you first purchase this unit, it will come with the standard large high flow gun, which will also come with the gas regulator and also the pressure regulator. So here we have the large high flow gun for the Spartacus flame spray systems. On the gun itself, we do have controls that will control the LPG or the propane, which will give us either a finer flame or more of a larger flame for preheating purposes. And then we also have the air control that once you have your flame set to where you want it, go ahead and adjust that to its max setting, which will give you a nice sharp blue flame. And the trigger will be the device that is going to produce the powder out of the gun itself. This gun does give you a spray pattern between 600 to 700 square feet an hour. So the final accessory that comes with the coating system will be the gas regulator. It will also come with the propane fitting as well, which will go right on the right side of the regulator right here. You also want to check out the very back of it. It shows in and out, which indicates the flow of the propane going from the tank through the regulator. This is a gravity fed system. So we do have a vibrating system that's being controlled with the main pressure regulator here. When you open up the front door, that will expose the hopper that will hold a perfect 55 pounds or eight gallons of material. So on the side of the unit, you'll notice that we have our main pressure regulator hooked up to the three quarter inch Chicago fitting. We will need a three quarter inch airline to run to the system. And since moisture and humidity is always a factor when using compressed air, we do have a built in moisture separator that's located directly underneath the pressure regulator. It is not an auto drain, it is a manual drain, so you will have to crack that open about half a turn to release any kind of condensation or moisture that's being collected in this cup here. When you're looking at the side of the unit, the first switch that you'll see right in the center will be the start machine or the main off and on switch. Just to the right of that, we have the vibrating system. Again, like I mentioned, this is a gravity fed unit. So once you have your material and you're ready to put it through the screen that sits on top of the hopper, go ahead and turn the vibrator to the on position. That will begin to activate the vibrator, shaking the material down into the pot. Just to the left of that switch, we have our cooling system switch. As I mentioned before, we do have interchangeable guns. So if you are using the gun with the cooling option, you wanna go ahead and flip that from the off position into the on position, and that will start the cooling system on the gun itself. Moving on to the left of that, we have two switches or two buttons right here that will say powder with a plus and a minus sign. Just underneath the hopper, you'll notice that we have a gauge that goes from zero to five. That is controlling the amount, the volume of material that we are supplying out of the gun or going through the gun. By pushing in on the black plus sign, that's gonna move the needle from zero up to five. The minus sign will move it from five back down to zero. And again, that's controlling the volume, the amount of product that's coming out of the gun. Right underneath that powder setting, we have the powder pressure gauge, which is going to be the powder pressure, the, the pressure that's pushing the material out of the gun. This is important if we're working on surfaces that you need to either stand a little bit farther back from or get a little bit closer to, to be more precise, to have a little bit more detail. So this is just the strength, the pressure that is pushing the powder out of the gun. Right underneath that knob, you'll notice that we have a secondary gauge right here, and that is working uh, parallel to that powder pressure knob. The smaller gauge is a little bit difficult to read on the job site, so we have installed the larger one to make it easier for the applicator to read or to uh, kind of adjust. At the very bottom of the unit, we have all female to male quick connect fittings, making it very simple and very easy to interchange guns on the job site. Just by pulling back on that lip here, you can disconnect it, your main powder feed hose, pull back on the lip, disconnect that, and then we have our twin hose with the red and black lines, which are really the on and off air lines for the gun. So when you pull the trigger, the red line will tell the gun to start operating, producing the powder. When you let off the trigger, it will tell it to restrict the air and basically cut off the powder. But again, all quick connect features that make it very easy to interchange on the fly. 
So the last feature that we have on the Spartacus is the air blower that makes it really easy and convenient to interchange the colors inside of the hopper whenever you're ready to do that. At the bottom of the hopper, we do have two locking flaps. You'll remove those cotter pins there, pull up on those flaps, and that will disengage the hopper from the system so you'll be able to remove it entirely, dump out whatever's left over, and then also use the blower to clean out any leftover particles. That way you don't have any speckles that are gonna be left over for the other color you decide to put in. Thank you guys for watching. For more technical information, make sure you check out our website at ibixusa.com. Ibix, always keeping you on track.